apparently the Vikings had some trade offers for pick 23. Let's talk about that. All right, once again, happy draft day, happy draft Friday to everybody out there. And apparently the Minnesota Vikings had some trade offers on the table when they're on the clock at pick 23. We're going to talk about that before we do. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the vids, comment as well. We'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. If you agree with us, if you don't agree with us, if you don't know what the hell we were talking about, that's all fine. Uh, so uh, Doogie Wolfson reporting that the Vikings had two teams calling up about pick 23, the Chiefs at 31 and the Saints at pick 29. Uh, so a couple things to, to, to delve into here. The first thing is, you know, who were the Saints looking to get up to get? Uh, obvious target would have been Mozzie Smith, who just went to the, you know, the Cowboys at 26. Was that who they were trying to get up to, to 23 to get, potentially? Uh, the Chiefs. The Chiefs is interesting because they end up taking uh, Felix uh, Uzama, the edge rusher there, but did they want a receiver? Did they want to give Patrick Mahomes a weapon? Uh, were they trying to get ahead of the Giants for Jordan Addison? Um, so that's potentially what was – I'm thinking why they wanted him up. Those are probably the two targets that make the most sense. You look at uh, Saints ending up with Percy, and then you know the, the Chiefs going with the edge. But um, here's the thing. that if, if anybody is questioning the Jordan Addison pick or thinking, why didn't we take a trade, that's how much the Vikings wanted and liked Jordan Addison and how well they fit. they think he fits into their offense. Uh, this should just reassure anybody who who did want that trade down, who who wanted to move down, and get some extra picks. That the Vikings made the right move. They made the pick that was best for them, despite whatever trade compensation they were offered. They did not want to lose out on this kid, so that's important. That's definitely reassuring. And they couldn't have moved back. The Giants were sitting there at pick twenty-five. There's no way in hell they weren't going to take Jordan Addison if he was sitting there staring them in the face. They wanted a receiver. It was one of the biggest. Uh, you know, no brainers in the entire draft that the Giants would take a wide receiver. So Vikings, knowing that, knowing the board, knowing how much they wanted this kid, how much they love this kid, it just it makes the pick that much better. You turn down the trade offers, you stick with your boy. Um, but again, it is interesting that the Vikings were offered that the phone was ringing and everybody who thought Quasi was going to wheel and deal uh, stuck to his guns and, and took the receiver. And maybe you know this could also have been maybe Quasi wanted to make the deal. And Kevin O'Connell wanted Jordan Addison so bad. You know, you, you've seen Kevin O'Connell in the video just saying day one starter, day one starter. Was there some contention there? I don't know. I think, you know, in the end, they all agreed that they got the right guy. But I wonder, I wonder if Quasi did want to move down, get some more picks and address some more needs. We'll see uh, if the truth ever comes out. But nonetheless, the Vikings had two trade offers on the table. Said no way in hell. We're taking our boy and our boy is Jordan Addison. He's the newest Minnesota Viking. So uh, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Would you have taken the trade? Are you glad they stayed and, pu and picked and, uh, and got Jordan Addison? Let me know. And also remember, it's draft day, so keep your skull in your hole.